Hello, I'm Josh Harmon. This will be a quick video on how to develop E6 film. I'm currently using the Arista E6 developing kit, which I've already mixed, and I cannot show that because I didn't, I forgot to film it. But um, it's pretty straightforward. It comes as liquid concentrates and has a really good um, instruction kit on how to mix it. All right, so first things first, I did a little uh, montage of uh, what you'll need. That is a development tank, uh, reels, funnel. You're gonna need a thermometer, which I didn't show. You have your chemicals, you have your tub full of water. Right now the tub's at 105 degrees, which is what you want it to be for this kit only. I'll post those in the um, description. I also have a jug of water at the same temperature for wash water because you don't want to go from hot to cold to be bad cause reticulation. And um, of course you need some slide film. I've already developed about, I don't know, seven rolls or so of 120 uh, Kodak E100 VES and uh, some Fuji Velvia. I also have some 35mm rolls of Provia I'm about to develop today. So I've already loaded those up. If you don't know how to reel, you shouldn't be developing E6 film. So I suggest that you go look on YouTube how to do that and try some black and white developing first before you get into color developing. It's a little more complex. And so we're going to jump right to it now. So I just load up and the first thing you need to do is do a 60 second pre-wash. Now I'm just dictating off of the instructions. So Instructions say 60 seconds pre-wash at 105 degrees. We're gonna do that. Watch as a timer. Start it, grab my wash. And since I have two rolls of 35 millimeter, add the fill sink to the brim. I'm gonna put the cap back on right here. Shake a little bit. And do a couple of reviews and just gonna tap it, get those air rolls out, let it sit. And I'll add shade again one more time before I pour it back out. All right, the minute's about up, so shake a little bit, and I'm about to pour it out. The fun thing about pre-washes, they always come out funny colors. All right, now we're ready for the first developer. Now, there's, it goes first developer, color developer, and Blix. So I'm gonna pop it out, make sure it's all evenly warm. I'll check the temperature, make sure it's at 105 degrees. Now, when you're developing E6 film, the temperature has to be spot on. Just for, the, just for the first develop because if it's not right, you're going to get either too dark or too light of slides, and you can't fix that. It's 105. There we go. Now, first developer, for your first roll of film is six and a half minutes. Standard prayer there. That's to the kit, so don't take that for everything. But for every roll you do on the same chemicals, you have to add more time to it. I believe you add like 15 seconds per one for every 120 size equivalent roll or 8 by 10 sheet or something like that. Now I've done quite a few rolls, so I'm extending the developing time a lot. And I'm pushing these chemicals to the max. Ideally, you want to do one shot, but that's not economical and I don't have much money. So, here we go. Ideally, six and a half minutes. I'm going to do a lot more than that. But this is my eighth and ninth roll in here. So, go to the brim. Sorry if I'm blocking you. This. So I'm inverting a few times. Get those air bubbles out. My tank's leaking. I'm gonna plop it back in the water. And let it stay warm. Now, you want to agitate it once, or I do about two to three inversions every 30 seconds. So you want to keep it agitated. So time is about to be up. Let's take off the lid. So pour it out. It's kind of a pink color. So that's all the way done. Now we gotta wash it. I have my wash water, it's, I know it's the right temperature, and you want it, the instructions say to fill and refill quickly, seven times. I kind of do that guideline. The first few, you have to shake a little bit, because there's still a lot of developer left from there, so I just want to get the log off the first few times. Uh, I could put the lid on and do inversions, but I prefer to do this when washing. I finished the wash, now it's time for the color developer, yay! The thing is, it doesn't matter if you um, put it, leave it in there for extra time because it develops completion and a few other things that don't need to tell you right now. So, it's four and a half minutes no matter what. I'm going to go five minutes to be safe. So, bright olive oil color. Alright, so time is about up. If you're following instructions, that would have been four and a half minutes. For me, I extend it a little bit because, like I said, my chemicals are a little exhausted, so pour it back out and it's a little darker color now. 
certain films tend to each chemical. So um, don't be surprised if you pour something out and it's a different color. You want to do seven quick fills and refills. The next chemical is going to be the Blix, and that's our final step. So, this is the Blix. Now, the Blix looks just like C41 Blix if you use a, a Blix for C41, as in it's a dark, iodine, kind of brownie orange color. Now, the Blix is, once again, independent of exhaustion, so it means it's 10 minutes no matter what at 105 degrees. So, 10 minutes, let it start now. Like the stained stuff, so make sure you don't get it on yourself or clothing. And same thing with agitation, a couple inversions every 30 seconds. And see it dropped a little bit when I uh, make sure the bubbles are gone. So, catch you in 10 minutes. Again, 10 minutes has passed, time to pour out the blicks. Oh gosh, it's dripping. Lovely iodine colored blicks off my hands, and now it's overflowing. Okay. <clears throat> Time to wash. Here we are again. Time to wash. Interesting smell. It's a little bit of that ammonia smell, and a little bit of a disgusting smell, too. You really want to get that blitz off the film. And like I said, this is the last step. And once you do that, those seven quick inversions, make sure you have the immediate blitz on the film. The event says to do five minutes of running water. And I don't like doing that. I think that's a waste of water. So what I do instead, which I'll show you in a second, is where I let it sit. I put a port full of water, let it sit for a minute, then I replace the water. So it's you replace the water you know, once every minute, five minutes. And I think I do this about the same thing as if you were to just I have running water for five minutes, so I'm gonna set that up. Also, by the way, you can take off the lid now. Technically, you can take off the lid once you finish the second developer, but I always like to keep it on until the very end, so. By the way, kind of shake it around, and I'll let it sit for the first time for about a minute, then I'll replace the water again, like I said, for the next five minutes, so I don't know if you can see that. But just... I have my tank here, it's been running for a few minutes. This is where I hang up my film. It's the bathroom. And pull out the wheels. Yeah, it looks stood up to me. Here's what I'll do. I'll pull one off. And what I'm gonna do now, finger squeegee. But see images. And this reel is off, there we go. Make sure it's stay weighted. Gotta put weight on the end. In the drying, it will look kind of milky and darker than they actually are. And that's just how it dries. So you gotta wait till it fully dries all the way, where you actually, you know, rub the back of your hand across, it doesn't stick, until you can actually judge if the it came out right. So I'll show you the scans. And this I'm Josh Harmon. Stand back. And this is how I develop my E6 film. It's what works for me. It may not work for everybody, it's a guideline, so I don't want too much hate comments if it doesn't work for you. It's what works for me. That's what I'm saying. All right, well, thank you for watching.